In this video, we're going to take a look at how you enable parental controls on a Synology router. As the name suggests, parental controls allow you as a parent to set the router so that you can control when and what your children access from the internet. In order to enable parental controls, we first need to log into the Synology router manager. When the SRM loads, we need to select Network Center. From within the Network Center window, we now need to select the option Parental Control. Under the General tab, you can see a default policy list. The default policy is issued to all devices that connect to the network. As you can see, we currently have two devices on the network, the computer I'm working from and an iPad. As the default policy is issued to all devices, you have the option to edit the default policy. As you can see, any device without a customized parental control policy will adopt the following rules. WebFilter allows you to set a specific policy regarding what a device can and cannot see on the internet. We'll be taking a closer look at these options later, but the router currently has four options, Disabled, Basic, Protected and Custom. SafeSearch prevents search engines from displaying inappropriate websites and media content. As you can see, by default, this option is off. Internet allowed time is disabled by default. If you were to enable this feature, the default policy for all devices on the network would be set so that you could only access the internet at specific times of the day. Now that we've had a look at the default policy, let's take a closer look at the web filter option and see if we can create a custom web filter. At the top of the web filter tab is a section that lets you define websites that you want to allow access. This is used to override any protective filters that you may have in place. You would edit the access list if you find that there's a website that you want your children to access but is blocked by the web filtering system of the router. Opening the edit allow list lists all of the sites that are allowed to be viewed. To add a site to the allow list, you enter the URL for the site you wish to allow and then click the add button. The URL for that website is then added to the list of sites that all devices can access. The second section in the web filter pane relates to the filters that control internet access. The default filters are basic, protected and custom. Basic blocks access to malicious websites. Protected blocks access to malicious and adult-only websites. Custom allows you to build your own web filters using predefined categories. So let's take a look at building a custom web filter. First, we're going to click the Edit button so we can edit the name of our custom filter. As this filter will be used specifically to protect children, we're going to call it Kids Access to Internet. By selecting the Edit Block List button, we set the custom filter name. Selecting the Edit Block List button for a second time will display the Edit Block List window. The Edit Block List window consists of two tabs. One is called Category, the other Customization. Let's take a look at Category first. As we are creating a new filter, let's set all of the listed categories to Block then individually review each category to see if we want to allow or block that type of internet traffic. As we're setting a policy for children, we're going to block adult, chat, drugs, hacking, phishing, shopping, violence, advertising, dangerous materials, Gambling, Malware and Redirector. But I'm going to allow social networking as the children this policy is aimed at are old enough to use social media. You'll notice that the tick for Select All has now been removed. While I've decided to block Wares, I'm going to enable Cartoons. I'm going to prevent access to dating sites. 
but have decided to allow access to gaming websites and multimedia websites. I am blocking sites that allow remote control, but I'm allowing access to sport websites. As the category filters are not completely reliable, we can use customization to manually block a site that the category filters may have missed. At this stage, as I don't know what the category filters will block or not block, I'm simply going to click OK to set my custom filter. So now that we've created a custom filter, let's try and apply that filter to one of the devices connected to our network. Let's return to the General tab and select the device that we want to control internet access on. Next to the selected device are three columns, Web Filter, Safe Search and Internet Allowed Time. Let's start by choosing Web Filter. You can see that we're presented with a drop-down menu containing the four filter options. Let's select the custom filter we just created. The iPad is moved to a new group called Customize Policies. Next, we're going to enable Safe Search. Safe Search prevents search engines from displaying inappropriate website and media content. Finally, we're going to set Internet Allow Time. This is so that at certain times of the day, this iPad will not be able to connect to the internet. When we select this option, we're presented with an edit window. We now need to enable Internet Allow Time. By default, the iPad is allowed to connect to the internet at any time. To define when the iPad is not allowed to access the internet, we use the blue grid containing the days and hours. By changing a square in the grid from blue to white, we set a one hour slot as a period when the iPad cannot connect to the internet. This is a good way to limit internet usage, as you may not want your child to have access to the internet while they're doing their homework, at dinner time, or when they're supposed to be sleeping. Once the internet allowed time has been set, we can click the OK button. A chart now displays the internet allowed time for that device. The final tab is block page style. This allows you to customize the block page that you will see when you attempt to access a part of the internet that the block filters have deemed inappropriate. The block page is fully customizable. By clicking this box, you can choose your own title, description, colors, background, and logo. We're going to leave the default block page enabled so that you can see what it looks like. So let's jump over to the iPad and demonstrate parental controls in action. So we're now looking at the iPad. But in order for the parental controls policy to take effect, we first need to renew the IP address lease from our Synology router. To do this, we must open Settings, then select Wi-Fi. Within the Wi-Fi panel, we need to select the wireless network that we're connected to and press the Renew Lease button. When prompted, choose Renew. We can now return to the home screen and open up the Safari browser. As you can see, I already have the My Doodads website opened. On the website, there is an advertisement bar. If I refresh the page, because the filter policies block adverts, this advertisement bar becomes disabled. Now let's see what happens when I try and access an adult website. I'm now going to try and access the Pornhub website, but because the block filter is in place, the website will not be displayed. Instead, we should be shown a block page. It's worth noting that Pornhub is an obvious website to block and that the block filters do regularly update themselves, but there's no guarantee that a newly created website won't be accessible. So it's worth manually monitoring what your child is accessing on the internet from time to time. If you want to remove a policy from a device from within the SRM in parental control, Select the device from its current policy list. The Remove Settings button becomes active, 
When you select Remove Settings, the selected device is returned to the default policy list. This removes any restrictions that you may have imposed on that particular device. So to recap, we've taken a look at parental control settings on a Synology router. This includes creating a custom policy, adding that policy to a device on the network, reviewing the block page, and then looking at how you remove the policy from that device.